Alright, so this is the motor reinstallation video. Uh, it's a beautiful day out, it's about plus 10. Uh, and this week the forecast looks awesome, so uh, I figured I'd uh, throw the motor back on the bike and get her all set to go for this week, so I'll probably be riding it. Um, as far as the motor inspection video, I got a couple comments back on that, but uh, nothing overly insightful into whether or not the motor is uh, good or not. Um, but I don't see any problem with it, so uh, might as well not fix anything that ain't broke and uh, put her back in the way she is. No changes. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, one thing I thought that would be good to test is uh, just the actual uh, contacts to the case resistance before I throw the motor back in. Uh, I did blow out a bit of brush dust so it will be uh, higher than it was before. Uh, but I wasn't getting anything, anything before and I'm still not getting anything so um, I think we're all good here. And if I go to case, yeah, 5 ohms. And that's with the other probe right here on the shaft. Uh, if I move this, um, let's see if I can do this on camera. If I put one on there and the other one, apologize for this, one on there, so that, that one's on the contact there. And if I put the other one on uh, this bar here, um, still, still not getting anything. Okay, huh. Awesome. <laughs> I figured I'd get something there, but no. And then of course if I go coil to coil, I get... Uh... Sorry, it's a bit sketchy right now because it's not holding this probe. Ah, this is pretty tricky here. Right, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can do it two-handed. There we go. There you go, like 0.2 ohms, so essentially nothing. So that, that tells you that the, uh, you know, that's just the winding resistance there, which of course you'd expect to be very, very low for a high power motor like this. So yeah, I think we're basically ready to throw the motor back into the bike. I uh, did up these bolts here while the uh, camera was charging because the battery actually went dead. So uh, the bolts for the mount are all uh, snugged up and we're ready to put the motor back in. And uh, just like when I was removing the motor, I'm going to have to do a bit of finagling with that one uh, connection there, uh, the, the higher one there, to, to get her hooked up again. But uh, I'll make her happen, so. All right. The motor's back in and all buttoned up, so uh, might as well fire her up here and uh, see how she spins up without the chain on there. So let's go. That motor sound is always so strange to me now when it's not hooked up to the chain.
plus, you can see right at full throttle there is when the brushes start to arc just a tiny bit. I, I take it up slow. But when I just gun it, it arcs over pretty bad when I just gun it. So off camera there I cleaned up the chain. It's all nice and uh, shiny now. Uh, same with the master link and the sprocket and all, this, all the little set screws and everything. Um, I have some more Loctite that I'm going to use on the set screws. And I'll just do them snug again this time and that worked out really well last time. And yeah, sprocket's just going straight back on, chain's going straight back on, no problems. Well, I guess just a quick update on the motorcycle. I just took it for a spin. Uh, the motor doesn't click anymore. And uh, it's a little bit beyond me as to why. But uh, all I really did was I cleaned the chain. I think that made the biggest difference is when I was out there ripping around, it was super, super smooth. Holy man. So smooth. I almost forgot how smooth this thing is. Oh man, it's beautiful. And uh, I did blow the dust out of the motor as best I could. And that might have helped a little bit, but man, it seems to have made a massive difference, even though I didn't really do much. Anyway, that's the bike. I'm going to leave her in a partially discharged state uh, for storage, and you know, I'm sure I'll be taking it out again soon. I just went on a, you know, not even a 20 kilometer ride, I just cruised around for a little bit. And yeah. There we go. Back in action, boys and girls. And uh, yeah, I'll keep tabs on the weather forecast. And if, if it's nice out, then uh, of course, I'll be ripping around and you'll see videos. So stay tuned.